Hi, my name is Kyle Ruddy, and we have recently released a preview of a great new resource which is full of first-class Sentinel policies. This is the Terraform Foundational Policies Library. It's publicly available on GitHub under the HashiCorp organization and contains roughly 50 pre-written policies that are based on benchmarks provided by the Center for Internet Security on some of the major cloud providers. Now we can find all kinds of great information and documentation within the README, but let's check out how easy it is to get started applying some of these policies to a configuration using the Azure Resource Manager provider. So we'll start by heading over to our Terraform Cloud console where I've pre-created a workspace um, and associated with a Terraform configuration. Now this Terraform configuration deploys a couple resources within Azure that serves up a website that displays different pictures of cats. Now from this point, we wanna make sure that we're starting to include some of these compliance standards as based by the Center for Internet Security. To do that, we'll head over to our settings and make sure that we have a policy set that's created uh, within our policy sets section. Here we have a HashiCat Azure policy set, so we're all good from that standpoint. Now we wanna go out to the foundational policies library on GitHub. Luckily, there's a nice little shortcut that's directly in the UI. From there, we can start browsing some of the policies that are available, starting by clicking on CIS, Azure, and then since we're deploying some uh, different resources within Azure, uh, we're gonna particularly focus on the compute benchmarks. So within the compute section, there are two benchmarks that have been turned into Sentinel policies. Um, the first one lines up with CIS 7.1, which is ensuring that all managed disks are encrypted. Then the second one is CIS 7.4, which is ensuring that only approved extensions are installed. So in order to start applying these rules against our Terraform configuration, all we need to do is copy out this little subsection of code, head over to our editor of choice, and paste it in. Now the real magic that's happening here is all due to this source parameter um, that goes out to our GitHub repository and references the Sentinel rule. Then we can also make use of the enforcement level. Um, so in this case, you know, we really wanna make sure that all of our disks are encrypted. So we're gonna set this to uh, a level of hard mandatory. However, we also wanna apply that CIS 7.4 benchmark as well. So we go down to our configuration code, copy that, head back to our editor, and paste. And that's it, we're ready to go. So we will save our file, we will then commit our change into our local Git repository, and push it all out to GitHub so that Terraform Cloud can make use of it. Reference that sentinel.hcl file. Now, as that all goes through the process of syncing up, we'll go back to our workspaces, click on our desired workspace, and kick off our plan. After a couple seconds there, we can see that our plan has started to run. We can see some of the information um, that's going to be returned back from that. So in this instance, we're going to be creating nine different resources uh, to stand up this, this web server and website. And then once the plan finishes and wraps up, it's gonna run down uh, to use the Sentinel engine to process those policy rules. Now we had an existing rule that was around the instance type that we were allowed to use. Then we have our two CIS benchmarks. Uh, that we've applied as well. Uh, in this case, we found out that our Terraform configuration was not making use of encrypted disks. Uh, so we can see that we have a failure on that one, uh, but on the other hand, we were using approved extensions. Uh, so because of our enforcement level being set to a hard mandatory, we are not allowed to go any further um, to deploy our infrastructure. So the apply won't run. 
So that was a very brief walkthrough on how to get started using the Terraform Foundational Policies Library with Azure RM Provider and Objects. See the library's GitHub page for additional policies and additional information. Thank you.